Hello, everyone, and happy new moon in Cancer today, July 20th, the new moon in Cancer. This is going to be the first new moon or full moon, well, it's a new moon now, in Cancer that it wasn't an eclipse. So kind of a relief there, I guess. So it's kind of new beginnings for Cancers. I'm saying relief, I guess. <laughs> okay, so um, if anyone would, put, uh, would be kind enough to put the timestamps I really, really have a hard time um, getting to that. There's so much I'm constantly doing. Um, collectively, we'll look at that. Then we're going to look at the water signs. Well, um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Then we're going to um, look at the earth signs, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. And then the fire signs, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, and the air signs, Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini. That's how I focus on them. Okay, so let's get started. What energies do we see that this new moon may bring? We see here a tower, don't we? It's a personal tower, so there is a sense of, you know, sudden changes. Um, this can be sometimes personally within us. Um, what is cancer about? Cancer is about usually the home, family, protect, um, protecting the ones they, that, that they love, caring, compassion. Um, it is an initiative type of sign. It is a cardinal sign, too. So when we look at that, there is a focus on our um, home, um, the family, um, uh, taking initiative. Um, cancers, you know, people usually misrepresent them thinking that they're shy that they're easily pushed over, they mistaken their kindness for weakness, but do not forget they are a cardinal sign. So, yeah, they are the leaders. They will initiate. So there's a sense of um that energy to initiate something new because it is a new moon. Um, so we do see the tower here. We do see some rewards coming in and money, um, spiritually connecting, um, following your intuition. And love. And there's something that needs to be adjusted here and to be fair. Uh, we do see new starts. This is uh, being more bold, making the first move. We do see that. So there could be some changes. Maybe things have occurred where we are starting to activate that. But there's a little bit of a somber tone to it. It's like um, feeling frustrated, uh, things not moving as fast. Okay. You have to have faith in your dreams from what we're seeing there too. Um, I do see there's going to be some kind of success, victory, uh, this is achievement, even maybe travel. So we, we are seeing that, but it's almost like you, you're at a crossroads. You don't know which direction to go. Uh, there is, you know, some troubles or worries. Maybe we've been overworking, tired, stressed, health, well-being, all of that. Even our daily routines, there's something that there's a focus on that. We're leaving some of that behind. For some, it's like, you know, it's a sense of time of new starts, recovery of, after a difficult period, I feel that the energies will carry on at least for the next two weeks. Um, I do feel that something may be revealed. This is like information, secrets, epiphanies. Someone maybe confide something in us. Um, and there is an energy to be kind to ourselves. Okay. We're, it's almost like we're um, not being, we're too hard on ourselves as well. Okay. There is this energy of trying to push new beginnings, but there's almost a, like we're kind of blocked. We're feeling blocked. Our creativity is a, go, a start and go, start and go. Um, I feel some of us may be feeling a lack of nurturing, okay, where we need that. So then it's almost like you're feeling kind of hopeless about any future development, but there is, okay? There's a light at the end of the tunnel. You have to have faith in your dreams, all right? All right, so we're going to move on now to the water signs. We're going to start with Cancer. Cancer, again, it's a deep philosophical, psychological, um, and intuitive adjustments we are seeing there. It's like there's so many changes, internal changes that are going on as well. It's almost like you're separating from something too, okay? Um it's like things may be, it's like you're not in the white or the black area, you're more in the gray. It's like you want, you are uh, moving forward, you are looking backwards, and then you're kind of stuck at the same time. You're not sure what to bring upon, let's put it that way. 
for a lot of you, um, there is a feeling here of you've been doing too much, you've been helping too much, giving too much, somehow your time, your energy, and you feel a little bit overwhelmed, meaning it's not reciprocated or people don't appreciate you or some situation. So there's a sense of that is coming out. You're able to read people very well, too. So I do see that you're trying to avoid some confrontation. So you're kind of giving in to some things. Um, and But then you uh, set yourself up to feeling a little bit vulnerable. So it would it would be more likely to clear that out and take, um, you know, more of a taking care of yourself approach. OK, this is also a very healing energy. So it is a time of healing. Um, everything that you desire, that you want, um, that you've been working on, it's there. It's there. It's it's you know, this does manifest. So I think also that you're maybe very hard on yourself. OK, don't make any quick decisions. I feel some of you may have problems with people who are a little bit um, immature for their age or dealing with children. So there's a sense of immaturity here. And it's like, um, it's been very challenging uh, dealing with critics or dealing with um, trying to repeat yourself a thousand times, so to speak, okay? But there is something new coming through. There is that um, energy of healing and purging and move and moving along. So we are seeing that. Uh, just try to stay positive. Because um, it's, it's a good energy, but at the same time, you know, you have the power here. You're able to read people. You're able to move forward. But there is something there that, again, it's almost like it's so much work. It's so much, you know what I mean, time and energy. So take care, taking care of yourself is going to be very important as well. All right, so now we're going to move on to Scorpio. Scorpio, you have love showing up and compassion um, being kind to yourself, very nice energy here too. When, so we're looking at this, there could be something that you have to decide, um, what is dear to you that could, this could be a love or a situation and knowing the difference between, you know, love, being in love for the sake of love, wanting love, or is it real love is what I'm picking up for some of you. Um, I do see that there is a different type of energy here. Maybe you meet someone if you're single and it's going to be someone who is not totally not what you expected. Maybe it's like a foreigner. Maybe it's um, they're just different than what you expected or you maybe they're just uh, maybe you expect long term something. And it turns out just being short term or the other way around. There's something there that's quite not um, to your expectations. That's another thing I'm seeing here. Um because it's hidden one another here, I do feel there's going to be something revealed here. Be careful because we do look at the whole alignment. So I look at the whole water um, energy too. And when we're looking at this here too, don't judge situations first or try to blame someone for anything or, you know, being judgmental because there's a sense of your skeletons could come out of the closets. Some secrets could be exposed. Um, truths being revealed so there is that energy too there is a sense of a little bit of something being concealed something is not exactly honest here is what i'm picking up but you do need to bring more love into the situation okay so i do see that i do see there is um different types of energies here some of you may be thinking of travel or doing what your heart desire is uh connecting to different types of energies too because we're looking at that alignment um, this can also be good for money, um, making money, bonuses, tips, um, some money coming in as well when we're looking at that alignment too. All right, so now we're going to move on to Pisces. Pisces, what are we seeing here? Okay, money, family, um, luck and work and adjustments, a little bit of frustrations, right? All right. It's like you're trying to hide away from something. You're shying away from something. Uh, you need to take advantage of some opportunities. This could be with work or you're just, again, not feeling right. You need to feel more safe or protected or you don't want to get out of your comfort zone, so to, uh, so to speak. It's like maybe you need to um, be more to yourself. There's a, a sense a lot of things are changing and a cycle is changing here. Communicating is going to be very important. I see communications coming through as well. Um, definitely, you need to come uh, take back your power somehow is what I'm seeing. And there is something that's going to be very heavy on your mind. 
um, it's like you want something fair. This could be also you're trying to um, reassess maybe a contract or something official. Um, you, it's like a heavy choice or decision may be coming up, okay? And it can bring a very strong new beginning. So there is some kind of underlining change I see um, happening here with Pisces. But communication is going to be very important in taking your power back. So you've got some changes that are coming on because it's not even yet seen here. All right. I think that's the best way to explain that. Money should be coming in because I do see money um, here as well. And this could be with something that you're working on. Maybe you're working behind the scenes and then later, you know, your hard work and perseverance will pay off. All right. All right. So next we're going to move to the element of Earth, we're going to start with Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Capricorn, okay. Capricorn, not everything is as it seems. There is a sense of some of you um, are dealing with, I want to say it's not exactly confusion, but there needs to be... Um, a realistic approach to something. It could be with anything that you desire in them because you do have love here and some kind of choice that you need to make in some kind of borders. But there is a, um, whether it's in work, whether it is in any area, could be even love, there's a sense of a win-win situation, okay? But you have to make some things fair is what I'm feeling here as well. Um, matters of the heart is coming through and it's almost telling me that there's something that needs to be adjusted here too, it's, um, sometimes we're just keeping things in or we're, we're trying to, um, gain some answers too, because there's a sense of confusion. This can also indicate that maybe you're dealing with some kind of insecurities. Okay. You don't have the, I don't know. Um, you almost feel inferior or there's a sense of insecurities because there is love coming in. This is like, um, new love. This is renewal of love. It's a sense of a blessing coming in. So I do like this energy that's showing up for you. Now, um, there's something that you feel kind of held back. That's why you're either moody or you're confused about. It's like you feel restricted, your progress. You need to reevaluate some things, okay? Also, make sure that things are fair and that you need to examine um, motives. Um, don't make any quick, quick decisions because not everything is clear yet. Okay, so that's one thing I do see, but I see something very good with matters of the heart is coming through. There is like almost a karmic co um, comeback here. Um, there is a lot of assistance, a lot of help. Um, a water sign may be a um, um, part of the picture. That's another thing I'm seeing here too. So it is connecting to um, blessings and sparks of miracles are coming through here too. There's a lot of love energy. You just have to trust and see the reality in a situation too. I have to say that. That's one thing I do see there. So that's either with partnerships, work, whatever um, part of your life. So it's gaining some more clarity as well. So, and there is love coming up here for, um, if you're single, if you're not, this is a, um, I don't know, a very nice kind offer um, or a nice gesture, a good time with your current partner, maybe even your thoughts of travel soon as well. So I do see that energy coming through. Okay, next we focusing on Taurus. Okay, Taurus. There's been miscommunication. Uh, this could be also... You could be focusing on the past, things that have been communicated, things that have been said, and maybe it's an over an analysis on it. There is something here that maybe you are misrepresenting. There could have been harsh words because we see here, you know, frustration and a little bit of anger too. Don't let your past hold you back, okay? So there is something here that we are seeing. It's almost like you feel like um, there's a sense of de deja vu. It's like saying patterns or um, maybe uh, just say you're in a relationship, maybe something reminiscent um, a past relationship from the past. And maybe there's a lesson here. OK, so there is something there and some adjustments that need to be made. Be careful of your money. I do feel here that um, your where you invest your money in. 
there is a sense of um if like if you're living with your parents or someone's been supporting you you may be cut off okay i do see that energy is very possible here too there's something that needs to be eliminated here that i'm seeing too i do feel though there is going to be some exciting or good news that it, that is going to come through and you will be getting through a lot you'll get a lot done and you're you're coming through to a very new beginning here these are lessons learned in some way. For you, you may be also teaching others or someone younger some lessons. It's applying wisdom to situations, okay? But there is, don't, um, an energy here, you have a lot of frustrations here as well. You have um, the desire and passion to move along things, to either spend, I don't know. But you're coming to this very strong new beginning, and you have to kind of um, not overthink some communications. You could be oversensitive. There is something here that you need to um, either communicate well or not overthink it. It's like, don't let the past stop you is one thing I'm feeling here. Okay, this is maybe someone's judging you how you were from the past. Um, you know, people do change. People, you know, people evolve. Like if you were a kid and you did this and someone's bringing that same thing up and you're what? 50, 40, 30, 60 now. It's like, oh, uh, that was me when I was three or five, you know, that kind of energy I'm seeing here too. I wouldn't let too much um, of what I hear affect me either, okay? Because there is just a lot of frustration here. But there's going to be something good coming through. This is either good news, something um, will be coming through and you're going to, um, some burdens that you're carrying or weight that you're carrying, it's worth it. It will come to an end, though. But there's something that was worth it here, too, as well. Um, there's almost a little bit of discord with either people that are close to you or family, all right? Because of either try people taking sides or there's a sense of um, some people are not talking to each other. That's another thing I'm seeing here, too. But that can be resolved, okay? There can't be someone around that is just not in their right mind, <laughs> state of mind, because they are just very frustrated and they could be taking out their frustrations. Um, and you pick up that energy, too. All right, moving on to Virgo. Virgo, you have um, money coming in. This is partnerships, um, uh, money that is, uh, it's a shared resource type of energy. This is like um, maybe money that you receive from another source or a second source um, that is showing up here. Um, there is one cycle here that I see. It's like um, a constant cycle of you're focusing more on your disappointments than you are on the good, okay? It's like try to look beyond that. That's one thing I'm seeing here. You don't want to be in this vicious cycle from what I'm seeing here too. Communication partnership is uh, showing up here, okay? There is a sense of this also can indicate for others a new business venture. This is also can indicate for others a new... You need to take some breaks. Um, it's like small achievements and you need to meditate, uh, contemplate a little too. So there is that energy coming through here. This also, because this alignment comes right through here, there's a sense of, I don't know, you're fed up, you're angry. Uh, maybe you want to protect someone. Maybe there's something communicated or um, said in a, a relationship and then you're upset about it. You want things fair. You want to be, you're a little bit over defensive or it's the other way around. So there is this fiery type of energy too that's crossing you here too and it's, it comes into a partnerships or, or money. Um, don't be so helpful. Don't overextend yourself. It's almost similar to what I'm seeing with cancer in, in a certain way. Maybe you've been spending too much on others and they just take, take, take. And they never give, 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 give. And maybe someone teaches you a lesson about that. Maybe open your eyes and see how someone else does it. I feel like a cancer may be teaching you something too. That's another um, energy I'm picking up here. But there is that you need to balance. Okay? Communications are open here too as well. So, yeah. So, this is a good time. That's a kind of a tower here. It's a good time to um, destroy, demolish um, that overgiving, overspending on, you know, you can't just give, give, give when someone else is not, and they just take, take, take. That's what I keep getting always for, for Virgo, okay? <laughs> anyway, 
So we're going to move on now to the fire signs. The first will be Leo, then Sagittarius, and then Aries. Okay, Leo. What are we seeing for Leo here? Leo, hmm. Leo, lifestyle, everyday routine, your health and well-being. There is a spotlight on there. There is also, yeah, there's um, um, a little bit of a negati negativity holding in something that you've been deeply wounded about. So there is that energy also needing some kind of protection from being drained. There's other people or situations are just uh, simply draining you and that's not good for your health and well-being. There are some things that are hidden, okay? We do see that um, energy coming up here. Leo, this is faded energy, okay? Because you're aligned here with this, uh, with this here too. So I'm seeing there is fate, all right? You're dealing with pay, fate and karma. Um, there is possibilities coming through here, all right? It's kind of expect the unexpected because we're looking here that a lot of changes may occur. Um, it's like a sense of surprises too. Know that a lot of the hard work that you put in is going to be paying off. For some, I can see this could be some kind of separation, all right? There's a lot of work you're putting in, and it's like you're keeping it more to yourself. I mean, whether you're working a lot, you're working on something. You're all also going to be seeking some deeper insight into certain areas in your life. But there is definitely a spotlight on um, your health and well-being and needing to separate from anything that is negative or toxic, too. Um, there is things that are not revealed here. There's others uh, keeping things um, from you, or this is just energies that's kind of mystical around you. Now, I have to say, keep away from anyone who is pretty dark. Dark, meaning if you feel their energy is dark, um, they either dabble in the dark arts or there is something that is quite dark about them and you don't want to carry that energy. So, um, it would good, it would be good to carry obsidian with you. That stone also protects you from, um, evil eyeing from uh, negativity or soaking up anybody else's energy as well. But health and well-being and your lifestyle, your daily routines, there is a focus on it. And this is also, um, Keeping things more to yourself, okay? Yeah. So, there's something, you're like a work in progress. I think that's the best way to sum up um, Leo right now, okay? There is um, purging to do. There is changes that need to be made. And definitely when we look at your lifestyle, the way you live, the way your routines, everything, it's in focus. That right away says there's going to be a lot of adjustments. Okay. Now we're moving on to the sign of Sagittarius. Sagittarius, what are we seeing here? Sagittarius, honestly, this is like two cycles here, closing something up, but the green tinge in it tells me there is luck on your side, okay? So there is luck on your side. There is a sense of either dumb luck, but there's luck on your side. Just know that. There's a sense of you. Either you started something new, there's a supportive group here, but there is luck on your side. The thing is, things may get really, uh, it could be a really quick moving time, Um it's like you're going to maybe have to pick up your pace somehow. If you're too slow getting something out, getting something done, you're going to have to pick up your pace. Trial and error here. Um, be careful, a little bit of conflict as well, and stay out of drama because that is still a cycle here that needs to be closed up. Um, you know, it's it's very important for you to know who has your best interest in heart, Okay. You need to be in a more serene place, a place where you feel protected, where you can, um, it's like a sense of a sanctuary where you need to uh, feel safe, um, comfortable, and being able to recharge, okay? You need to trust yourself and trust um, the universe knows what it's doing, okay? You do have um, protection here, what I'm seeing here, and it's like... There is a sense of a group of people who are quite protective or they're on your side whether you know it or not, okay? So there is a sense of needing to adjust some things. There are some things you need to purge because you're really coming into this new cycle and it's a very nice one. Um, trial and error, there is change that is coming so that, yeah, but you do have luck on your side. 
I'd say usually lucky anyway, mostly. Well, all right. And Aries, what do we see for Aries here? Aries, you also have home foundation, family, money, um, health, luck. There is some luck here or seeking abundance. Lessons that have been learned, all right? I see that too. You've been listening more. This is more listening and learning. It's a really good um, energy too. So this is good for if you're learning something new, if you're um, taking some kind of courses, anything that has to do with listening. This is also very good if you are doing like um, sign language, um, that kind of stuff. Very, very good. I don't know. I picked that up from someone. This is very generous energy. You could be a lot more giving. Um, and I'm not saying you're never giving. I'm just saying a lot more generous. There's a sense of generosity um, and re reciprocation. Okay, so that's really good. Maybe you reconnected with someone who is very kind. Um, there is that energy that's very important too. This can also signify a new romantic cycle is beginning for you too. Okay, so I do see that. I do see some sudden changes will occur because you do have, you know, this whole alignment here. Um but it's going to stabilize some things. It's like you're trying to get things in order. You're doing things a little bit differently. Patience is needed. Um, I do see you taking your power back, um, listening. And at the same time, there could be something that is set that's going to help you. It, um, I don't know. You learn something from it or it just sticks in your head for all, forever. You know what I mean? It's a very nice energy here. There is um, kind of mutual benefit. Money could be coming through. You're taking your power back. There is some changes, but patience is going to pay off. Your patience will pay off. That Some of you that have been very patient, it's going to pay off. So that's looking good. Okay. And we're going to move on to the air signs. Last but not least. And... The air signs, are, um, we're going to start with Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini. Libra, what are we seeing here? Libra, this is very um, intuitive tower here. It's, um, I want to say you need to hold on to your visions, okay? There is that energy of, you know, your dreams, your goals, your inspirations, your spirit, spiritually, you almost feeling spiritually drained, you know, you're losing the spirit for so, so and so and so, um, so to speak. So hold on to your vision. I do see that as well. There, that is coming through. There is a lot of creative ideas here. Maybe, um, a lot that's been going on. This could have been with work, could have been in any area of your life. Do watch your, I want to say, finances. There is a sense of, I don't know if there's been maybe a fallout with the family or um, a significant person. It's almost like you have to pick and choose a side that's for some of you, not all of you. Um, you're almost feeling like you were kind of cut off. Um, maybe you wasted your time, your energy, or something. There is, for some of you, it's like you totally are, um, I want to say kind of ignoring your heritage. Um, you're doing something differently and maybe some people be upset. That's another thing I'm seeing. There's a sense of people are noticing that or some kind of change in you. Okay. It could be the family doesn't like something, doesn't like someone doesn't or something. It's almost for some of you, it's like, it's almost being cut off from, um, family or family ties. There is something there. Um, there is maybe, it's almost like destiny. There could be some problems with inheritance or um, something that is yours, something that you need, that you believe you're entitled to. There's a sense of that showing up, okay? Um, you need to also not be in limbo so much. You need to kind of start moving forward in some certain situations. This is even emotionally, whatever it is, uh, work, there is something It's like, this is just stand still, you know? You do need to stop um, making excuses, stop procrastinating. There is something there or letting someone else make some kind of excuses, all right? Because you're kind of being, you're neither there nor, nor here. You're neither here nor there. You're neither here nor there, you know? Um, you are, it's almost like you're you're stuck. You're feeling stuck. Uh, you're delayed. There's a sense of maybe someone is deliberately or a person holding you back. 
maybe you want to switch jobs and your boss likes you and he's trying to hold you back somehow. You know, that's a good way too. I'm just saying you have to look at the bigger picture and what is more suitable for you. What is more, what's going to bring you more stability? What's going to bring you more security for the long run, not just now. Okay. So yeah, that's a uh, very strong energy that comes through here for uh, Libra. And we're going to move on to Aquarius. Aquarius, you have the world and you do have um home foundation. It's a little bit in the gray here. It's almost like, I don't know, you're stuck in your ways. There's a sense of resistance, very strong will. You can be very stubborn. It's like you don't want to get out of your comfort zone. It's like the world's there, but here, nope, I'm trapped. I'm not going anywhere. There is something that's asking you to kind of look um, beyond the borders, so to speak, okay? You have to look at the bigger picture. That's what's coming through. Um, you know, it's like, yeah, either you're over conservative in a situation or there is something that you're very, very slow to change now, whether it's moving, whether it, whatever it is, you're kind of slow with it. There's been many lessons here. Okay, there is something that um, you're going to learn. Um, this is also needing some kind of advice. I see communication is coming in very strongly as well. Um, maybe this is a problem with either work or can be sometimes this indicating your health and well-being. Kind of take care of it. Maybe you're kind of run down. But you have to look at the bigger picture of things, not the, not just what's happening here and now, okay? There is a bigger picture in this, um, at this moment. So there is something that you have to kind of reevaluate. And for some of you, you may need some talks, um, some help. Um, wisdom is very important. I do see that there is also maybe for some of you, you may connect inadvertently with a soulmate. This is someone like a kindred spirit or someone who may help you in the future. I see a very supportive energy. This can be finding love in an unexpected way, so to speak. Okay? I think that's the best way I can explain that for um, Aquarius. Okay? Gemini. What do we see for Gemini here? Gemini, you overall need to be kind to yourself. You, um, There is a sense of a lot of compassionate energy, caring, kindness. It's strongly indicated here. That's the only way to succeed. That's the only way to go forth with you overall and others. Okay, so that's something that really comes in really strongly. It's like yourself and humanity and others. Okay. Um, this is like, I don't know why I feel like society is very important. It's connecting to your higher self. And then there is that responsibility between, you know, you and, um, the responsibilities you have towards others. I don't know. This is very humanitarian type of energy too. What I see here is you could be a little bit too hard on yourself. You know, you are good enough. Um, uh, there is a sense of you're kind of putting yourself down or you, uh, you just don't feel you're good enough for any situation for one such or one aspect in your life. There is something there that you have to know that you are good enough. Okay. There's some intensity with relationships. This can be a love relationship too. For a lot of you, this is coming to a really beautiful connection. This is finding true love. This is new love, renewal of love. It's really coming through. It's like you and someone else, it's like they will allow you to be who you really are. You just need to turn yourself around, okay, and relax a little. So it's like building a healthy connection. And there's a lot of, it's a lot that you're achieving so much personal growth here. you got a new emotional beginning coming through here. Very interesting. I like that. You know, you're just as good as the other, so to speak, okay? It's like there is a sense of equal um, equilibrium here. It's very important. Um, also, this is telling me here that money is not everything. Money, it's about you, health, wealth. Health is wealth and also how, you're, how you feel. So that's what showed up there. 
Okay? Very social, humanitarian type of energies coming through as well. Okay? Well, everyone, I hope you have a wonderful um, new moon in Cancer. And bye for now.